There are some days we want something different. Something sweet and savory. Yeah, like a healthy chicken stir fry. That is what I'm going to show you all today on Queenie's Backyard. For this we need chicken fillet, broccoli, bell peppers, carrots, you need ginger, garlic and onion too. So first our bell pepper. We have to cut it and also remove the little seeds inside too. Now for some healthy tips. Bell peppers are rich in vitamins, folic acid and some mineral like uh, magnesium. Oh, and if we remove the seeds, bell peppers have this natural sweet taste after cooking it. So while we're at it, let's not forget to like and subscribe and also click on the notification bell. We are going to cut the bell peppers into strips because that's how I want them to appear on actually in the stir fry. So what makes this a healthy recipe? Simple, the vegetables. Making something healthy, you have to have a whole lot of vegetables. And also our protein, which is this chicken fillet, has less fat because it's from the chicken breast, which has less fat, less skin on it. You can decide to dice up the bell peppers, but I like mine in strips, so any one is okay. So in this recipe, I'm going all fresh with my vegetables. Top the carrots. So I'll cut the carrots in strips too. I think they call it julienne in the carrots. So I cut it in strips, thin strips, so it would also, you know, cook well with the bell peppers. So carrots are a good source of vitamin A and carotene, which is good for your eyes. It contains some vitamins too, even a little bit of vitamin C and some minerals too. Now, broccolis are not things that we see every day, but you can alternate this with any other greens. I like broccoli actually because they look like little trees. Now, broccoli contains a whole lot of fiber. Yeah, this is where most of my fiber is coming from. It's also loaded with uh, vitamin A, C, D, selenium, magnesium, potassium, even a whole lot of vitamin Bs too. So yeah, my little tree of life contains a whole lot. Now onto the onion. I know some people don't like onions, so you can skip that. But for people like me that like onion, yeah, you add it to the dish. So I'm cutting it in thin slices. You can dice it up if you like, but yeah, I'm moving with the sliced vegetables. Apart from giving the food a very nice taste, onion is also packed with a lot of vitamins and flavonoids that help with your eyes, your heart and all that. Next up is our garlic. If you don't like garlic, you can skip this or you can use a garlic powder. So I'm going to mince the garlic. Garlic contains some flavonoids that help with your heart, circulatory system, also help reducing cholesterol in the body. So I mince that as best as I can. I'm not a, a world-renowned chef, but yeah, I mince it as much as I can.
I grate my ginger. Yeah, I want to grate it because if I try mincing it, I might have some blocks of ginger. So grating it helps me get some form of even layer. So if you've watched my ginger chew recipe, you'd actually know the benefit of ginger. I'll put it in the description box below. Over to the sauce, we have soy sauce. I'm also going to put white wine, uh, a little bit of olive oil, then some honey for that sweet taste to even it out and it's a healthy choice instead of sugar, which some people use. Then I'll add cornstarch, which is the thickener I'm using here and stir everything. If you're allergic to soy, you can use a washer's, okay, it's a mouthful, but yeah, you can use it instead of the soy sauce. So we stir it and keep it aside. On a very hot pan, you drizzle in your olive oil. I'm using olive oil because it's a healthy oil. Then put in our chicken fillet. I'll have to spread it evenly at least to make uh, just a layer of the chicken fillet on the pan so that everything gets cooked evenly. So to this I add my chicken stock cube. Well, I break the chicken stock cube on the chicken, of course, and add a little bit of salt and pepper too. All this to spice the chicken so you spice it the way you like. So yeah, I like a lot of pepper. We continually stir this. So if your chicken looks like as if it's still sticking to your pan, just allow it to cook a little bit before you turn it. So we turn it for like well, about three minutes so we have some brown or brownish kind of color on the chicken before we now scoop it out into a plate Still using the same pan, not cleaning it because we still need that flavor on it. I drizzle in a little bit of oil and add my veggies into it. So we continually stir the veggies. So we stir it till they are crisp and tender. Well, not so crisp, but yeah, very tender. This will take, let's say, approximately three to four minutes for you to get to that level. When all that is done, we add our chicken and also the soy sauce. Apologies some of the footage got missing but yeah so you add it and you stir it till the soy sauce thickens thanks to the corn flour so we'll continually stir this for three more minutes or longer if you want so that the chicken would soak up most of the juices from the soy sauce before taking it out of the fire and here we are our delicious juicy chicken stir fry a very healthy choice 
you can substitute it for your stews, your other sauces. So I'm going to serve this with a plate of rice and enjoy myself. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.